Dear students, there are several formulas to determine the value of the angle between two vectors at physics. Dot multiplication formula, cross multiplication formula, direction cosine formula and trigonometric formula. Seeing these different different formulas, many of us get confused when to apply which formula. Don't worry, after watching this tutorial to the end, we will not have this problem anymore. At first, we will try to understand the pattern or form of the question. Then, on the basis of the pattern or form, we will take decision which formula can be applied. Let us first get acquainted with the pattern or form of the question which we usually see in the question paper. See, these are the different questions of different patterns. From the both of the questions, we have to determine the mid angle. In this first question, we have two vectors, this p vector and this q vector. Besides, we have also unit vectors i cap, j cap and k cap with coefficients here. The presence of unit vectors with coefficient is called vector form. Keep it in your mind that this vector form is the most valuable form for this question because this form will tell us which formula we should apply for. In this second question, we have also two vectors, this vector and this vector. But see, unit vectors are absent here. As there is no unit vectors here, we can say this form is not a vector form. That means, in this question, we will have to find out another pattern or form. Look at these words, angle with axis. These words, angle with axis, is our key point here in this question. Because these words are going to be our another form. Now listen carefully. Whenever we are asked to determine angle between two vectors and we get vectors form, then only two formulas we can apply there. Either dot multiplication formula or cross multiplication formula. Again, whenever we are asked to determine angle with axis, then we will have to apply only direction cosine formula. Do you understand now? Now, we will solve these two problems one by one. Here, in this question, we can apply dot multiplication formula or cross multiplication formula. As dot multiplication formula is comparatively easier than cross multiplication formula, we will solve this question with dot multiplication formula only. See, this is the format of dot multiplication formula. First vector dot second vector equals magnitude of first vector times magnitude of second vector times cos theta. As this theta is the angle between two vectors, we have to find out the value of this theta. See, this is first vector and this is second vector. So, instead of this first vector, we can write p vector here and instead of this second vector we can write q vector here similarly here we can write p vector and here we can write q vector or this cos theta equals this p vector dot q vector over this magnitude of p vector times this magnitude of q vector or cos theta equals 4 over 3 times square root 42. As in the tutorial of vector part 2, we have learned how to determine the value of the dot multiplication of two vectors and the magnitude of two vectors 
therefore i put here the values directly or cos theta equals 0.21 or theta equals cos inverse 0.21 therefore theta equals 77.9 degree this is the value of the angle between these two vectors now we will solve this mathematical problem by using direction cosine formula if we have any vector a b c p or q whatever it is and we are asked to make angle with x axis or with y axis or with z axis then for x axis the name of the angle will be alpha for y axis the name of the angle will be beta and for z axis the name of the angle will be gamma see this is the format of direction cosine formula cos alpha or beta or gamma equals component of the axis over magnitude of the vector in this question we are asked to make angle with x axis so we will have to write here only alpha if we were asked to make angle with y axis then we would have to write here only beta and if we were asked to make angle with z axis then we would have to write here only gamma as we are asked to make angle with x axis we will write here alpha like this see this one is the component of x axis this negative 2 is the component of y axis and this 3 is the component of z axis now look at these words component of the axis here component of the axis means the component of this x axis as we are asked to make angle with this axis so here we will write this component like this now look at these words magnitude of the vector here magnitude of the vector means magnitude of this c vector as we are asked to make angle between this c vector and x axis therefore we will write here magnitude of c vector like this for y axis we would write here this component and here magnitude of this c vector similarly for z axis we would write here this component and here magnitude of this c vector do you understand so we can write here cos alpha equals 1 over square root 1 square plus negative 2 square plus 3 square or cos alpha equals 1 over square root 1 plus 4 plus 9 or cos alpha equals 1 over square root 14 or cos alpha equals 0 0.26726 or alpha equals cos inverse 0 0.26726 therefore alpha equals 74.5 degree this is the value of the angle between these two vectors now we have only one formula left and that is trigonometric formula whenever we will get sides along with angles in a stimulus then we will have to apply this formula do remember sides along with angles so that's all for today Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial.